Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Writing Practices. Today, we are going to learn how to write a debt settlement letter. What is a debt settlement letter? A debt settlement letter is a written communication between a debtor and a creditor, typically used when a debtor is experiencing financial hardship and unable to repay a debt in full. In this letter, the debtor proposes a settlement offer to the creditor, which usually involves paying a reduced amount to satisfy the debt, often in a lump sum or through a structured payment plan. The creditor may accept or negotiate the offer, and if an agreement is reached, the terms are documented in the debt settlement letter. Once both parties agree, the debtor makes the agreed-upon payment, and the creditor considers the debt settled, often forgiving the remaining balance. Debt settlement letters are a common tool for resolving outstanding debts while avoiding bankruptcy. Here, Writing Practices will show you how to write a debt settlement letter step by step. Check this out. First of all, write your full name. Under it, write your home address. And then, write the date of the letter. You can use the format of month, date, and year. After that, write the information about the recipient. Yes, write the full name. If you don't know, you can simply write the department in the organization. And write the name of the company or organization or institution. Here, the letter is addressed to the collections department in ABC Debt Collection Agency. After that, write the address of the company or office. Yes, don't forget to mention the number, street name, city, state, and zip code. After completing the information, now you can open the letter with a salutation. Simply write, Dear, followed by the recipient's name. Or write, Dear Sir or Madam, if you don't know their name. In the first paragraph, you can do an introduction. Sure it is good to write greeting and polite inquiry about recipient's well-being. And then, tell the reason why you are writing this letter. You need to write the identification of the purpose of the letter, which is debt settlement. Simply, you can write, I am writing to discuss a resolution to the outstanding debt I owe to ABC Debt Collection Agency. And then, write the reason why you are requesting for a debt settlement. You can write, I acknowledge my financial responsibility. And I would like to work towards settling this debt to avoid any further complications. You may copy this format if you don't know what to write. In the second paragraph, this is where you write all debt details. Yes, the recap of the debt are including account number, original amount owed, current outstanding balance, proposed settlement amount. Here is the example. The details of my debt are as follows. Account number 12345678 Original amount owed $4500 Current outstanding balance $4000 Proposed settlement amount $3000 In the third paragraph this is the main point of the letter Write the settlement offer here you need to write the specific settlement amount offered by you, as the debtor. For example, you can write something like, I am prepared to offer a lump sum payment of $3,000 to fully satisfy this debt. After mentioning the amount, continue by requesting the recipient to consider the offer as full debt resolution. If you don't know what to write, you may simply copy this. I kindly request that you consider this offer as a resolution to the outstanding balance and agree to mark this debt as paid in full on my credit report. In the fourth paragraph, this is where you talk about rationale. Yes, you need to give an explanation of the debtor's willingness to settle. You can simply write, I understand that this proposed settlement amount represents a reduction from the original debt owed. Besides that, you need to also give an acknowledgement of financial responsibility. You should convince the recipient that you will be responsible for your debt. Ensure that this resolution is best for both you and the recipient. In this example, the writer stated, However, 
I believe that reaching this agreement will be beneficial for both parties involved and help me move towards financial stability. Sure you can adjust it with your own language. In the fifth paragraph, you can talk about conditions. Here, you must request for a written agreement with settlement terms. For example, upon acceptance of this offer, I request a written agreement, specifying the terms and conditions of the settlement. After mentioning about a new agreement, now you can talk further about the terms and conditions. You may request for a positive rating from the agency or so on. You can write them all here. And request for confirmation that no further collection attempts will be made. Here is the example. The agreement should include confirmation that no further collection attempts will be made regarding this debt. I also ask that you provide a statement indicating the debt has been satisfied and will not be reported negatively to any credit bureaus. The positive rating or credit from the agency will help you to borrow money in other places. Therefore, it is a must that you get the positive feedback from the current one. In the sixth paragraph, now you can talk about payment details. Sure you can write a proposal for payment timing. It can be within 30 days, 2 weeks, or so on. You can simply write, I am prepared to make the agreed upon payment, within 30 days of receiving the written confirmation of this settlement. Not only that, you need to also talk about the payment method. It can be done by certified check or money order. And mention it here, for example as, the payment will be made via a certified check or money order. In the seventh paragraph, you can give your contact information. The most common contact information are phone number and email address. Here, you need to invite the recipient to contact you as the debtor just in case they have any questions. Here, you can simply write, I would like to resolve this matter as amicably as possible. And appreciate your consideration of this settlement offer. If you have any questions or require further information, please feel free to contact me at 555-123-4567 or jeremy at email.com. And for the last paragraph, this is where you give an appreciation for the recipient's consideration. Simply write, thank you for your prompt attention to this matter. And besides that, you need to also request for the recipient's prompt confirmation. Here, the writer look forward to receiving written confirmation of their agreement with the recipient and making the necessary payment to settle this debt. Finally, you can close the letter with sincerely, add your signature, and write your full name under it. So, that's how you write a debt settlement letter step by step. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching, and see you soon.